Hey everybody, Shafti here. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to install a little racing handle here for your BART. It's uh, Bob's racing handle from Euro Compulsion. Now, uh, a little known fact about this clip you're watching now, this is the second intro I filmed. And as you can see, it's installed. So how am I gonna teach you how to install it when it's already installed? Well, the issue is I actually filmed everything the other day. I already installed this. It's obviously already installed. So the intro didn't film, but it's all good. We're filming an intro, doing something a little bit different. But anyways, let's install like this Bob's racing handle. This thing's pretty sick. I mean, look at that. Like you add a lot of appearance to your car and everything, and it's really cool. I like it. Y'all should like it. Anyways, roll that intro. Alright, before we begin, however, we need to go over something very important, that's which tools you need. Which, this is a simple job, so there's not that many tools. One thing you'll need is a flathead screwdriver. Now, I do have two of these right here, just because I don't know if that one will be big enough. And what I mean by that is that's a really small, like, intricate screws type of screwdriver, so I don't know if it'll actually work, but we'll see. Number two, you'll need an Allen key. I don't know the precise size, but you'll need an Allen key, definitely. In number four, or three, or whatever, you'll need a drill with a quarter inch bit. Now that's important, that's the size of the hole you need. I happen to have a quarter inch here. I thought I needed to go out and get one, but these are all the tools you need to get started. So let's go and grab that piece. Okay, so right here is the little piece. I thought it was this entire assembly that needed to come out, but no, it's right here. So what you need, take one of your flathead screwdrivers, whichever one, and fit in here and pop it out. Now it's not held in there that tightly, it's just a plastic piece of trim, but once you pop it out, you'll be ready to go and drill your quarter inch hole. So let's go do that now. Now remember, you need to use the template for this. So this template right here is what you'll need. This template right here is what you'll need. Now it does say to cut it out, but you can do this by just laying it on it or whatever. Uh, I am going to go and cut it out right now because you do kind of need that. Now remember, you'll need to cut these out. It's very important. Let's do it that way, that way you guys can actually read it. And depending on which side you're doing, you gotta make sure, uh, I'm doing the driver's side, I might get a kit later and do the passenger side, which would be cool, but make sure you're cutting the right kit. All right, now that that's cut out, make sure that that extra paper doesn't just stay on the ground and that you actually take it somewhere. The sun's setting, so this lighting is like really weird. So once we got this cut out, we are ready to take our drill through the template and cut our beautiful little hole right through there. Let's go do that now. So the sun's really not working with me today, so lighting isn't the greatest. But here we go. We got our driver's side thing. Uh, usually you want to do this into something like wood or the ground or something, but we're going to just try to do it midair here. All right, I did a pilot hole now, which that's good enough. We can get started on the actual drilling. There we go, we got our quarter inch hole. Now, remember, clean that hole out, get everything out of the way, just so it's a clean, nice hole. Don't you just love innuendos some days? I do too. All right. Get all that plastic out of there and there you go. You got your hole. Now on to the next step, which is assembling. All right, now that you got your hole drilled, it is time to take out one of these screws. Now you gotta make sure you're taking out the one that is 
back further. So this one's towards the front, this one's to the back. You wanna take out the back one because that's how the template's set up. And these might take a little bit of force to get out. All right, once you get the screw out, you won't need this anymore. You don't need this part. You can set it to the side. And then next, you wanna grab your entire assembly. Now, the way you put this together, let me show you here real quick. Now with the screw out, you'll wanna start your little assembly that goes in here. First thing you need, you need your black screw that came with your kit. Then you need the little metal silver washer, and that'll go on. After that, you'll need to take your strap put both sides through like that so it makes a loop that you can tug on. Next you'll need to take your plastic washer put that down as well. After that you want to take your plastic piece that you drill the hole through set the longer side to the longer side of the strap like that and then you'll want to take this plastic spacer here and throw that all down. Now that'll be your assembly. Have your allen key ready because the next thing we do is we throw this on. We try to line everything up. We throw our plastic piece back in there. We line this up with the hole properly. Now, make sure there is some stuff in here. Try to get that out. Try to get all of that out. It seems to be foam or whatever. Get that out of there. Don't use your Allen key for that. Use your flathead screwdriver. Get this crap out of here. All right, once you get that out, now you'll be able to put this entire assembly back on. Right. Now that it's on a little bit hand tight, this piece will come back in once you tighten this piece up. So you want to start tightening. All right. So you got it as tight as you want. You pull it, nothing's breaking off. Give it a few hard pulls, nothing's breaking off. And that right there, is how you install the Bob's Racing pull tab for your door. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope this helped you install your Bob's Racing pool, door tab. I, I plan on doing more installation videos like this. If you guys have any recommendations for what you want to see be installed on your BART, let me know. Uh, I plan on doing more BART videos. I plan on doing like a top 10 things I hate about my BART, top 10 things I love about my BART. And overall, I need to do a tour video of it. So expect that sometime soon. Um, hey, Euro Compulsion, if you uh, want some more installation videos, just let me know. Hook your boy up. Like some of your products. Anyways, all jokes aside, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to, subscribe. I got social media down in the description. I got Instagram, Snapchat, all those. If you want to see more photos of the Abart Julia here, my glorious Julia, you can go and follow me on Instagram at Shofty619. If you want to see any of my Snapchat adventures, Shofty619. Everything Shofty619. Just go and follow me and see what I have to offer. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care.